What's up everyone, it's your boy NoranRad89 here bringing you another ranking video today. Today we're going to be talking about all the Jurassic Park feature films that have currently been released. We got the news that we're going to be getting Jurassic World Dominion coming out in 2022. So we're going to talk about all the ones that have previously come out, ranked worst to best in my opinion. This isn't the right list, this is just my personal opinion. I would love to hear from all of you in the comments section. Share your list, let's talk about them. So let's get down to this ranking. Roll it. So we have five Jurassic Park feature films to get through. So let's kick this list off with number five, the bottom of the barrel for me, and that's going to be Jurassic World, The Fallen Kingdom. This was the most recent one that came out. It had Chris Pratt and Bryce Dallas Howard in it. It was the sequel to their Jurassic World film. <clears throat> but it was just definitely a film that I didn't really need. And the storyline in it didn't really grab me and everything. I do like Chris Pratt and Bryce Dallas Howard in this movie and their chemistry. But I feel like everything else surrounding the movie just wasn't that great. It was very C average for me. Like the villain in it isn't that great at all. The storyline about the genetics and the girl and the twist we have just didn't really... Is something I didn't want. I didn't really need at all. And I feel like the dinosaurs are just kind of in the background just there to kind of like as a gimmick they didn't really weren't part of the story or didn't serve the story as much like in the other films and like I said it just was one that I didn't really want or grab me that much and when I watched it it just like as that might have hurt it and that's why it's at the bottom of the list for me but as I was just watching it there's just things about it that I was like uncomfortable with I didn't like and didn't entertain me or anything like that so that's why it's sitting here at number five number four is going to be jurassic park three and this is definitely one that isn't that great of a jurassic park film but i like this one a little bit better than fallen kingdom because we get sam neill's return in it i'm a sucker for him he was in the first one and i think he's really good in this third one too we get some cool characters like william h macy the husband and the wife character searching for their son and just their interactions with sam neill and the way they act on the island when they're looking for their son it's kind of entertaining really funny but it still does have some of those kind of key scary moments in it that make you feel terrified. Like the pterodactyl scene when they're in the cages and everything and the pterodactyls are coming and it's like all smoke like foggy and smoky. Like it just had some scenes that did still grab me and I was still entertained. And But like I said, compared to the first two, this still really isn't that great of a Jurassic Park movie. But it beats out Fallen Kingdom for me because like I said, a little bit nostalgia for Sam Neill and some of those key moments where it kind of still did feel like a horror movie for me. So that's why it's sitting here at number four. Number three is going to be Jurassic World. Our first introduction to Chris Pratt's character and Bryce Dallas Howard. They're two that have really great chemistry on screen and you could definitely feel it in this film. I like the entertaining action in this movie. It has some really good CGI in this film that I didn't mind because I'm not a huge CGI fan. I'm more of a fan of practical effects. But the CGI dinosaurs in this movie are really cool. I like Chris Pratt's interaction with Blue and the raptors and everything. That's such a cool little storyline. I felt like it wasn't a gimmick it was used very well and it had kind of a key arc throughout the whole entire movie the only thing that kind of hurts this movie for me compared to the first two is that I didn't really like the kid characters as much and there's a middle part in this movie like a good 15 20 minutes in the middle where it, it kind of loses me where there's just like I could get up and walk away from this film and it wouldn't really bother me it's not one that would like it keeps me at the couch wanting to stay there and just watch every minute of it so that's why it's sitting here at this number three spot now we're here at the top two and once you guys find out what my number two is you're gonna know what my number one is and I'm sorry hardcore Jurassic Park fans who like Steven Spielberg and they really do adore the first one but my number two is gonna be the original Jurassic Park and I definitely think this is a very classic film this is a grade A film probably like an 8 out of 10 in my book and I do like all the characters in it it's got a great cast like Sam Neill Samuel Jackson but it also has a good young cast to blend with the mature older cast so it has some really great moments in it and everything but for me, I just have some more rewatch value in the second one. But we'll get to talking about that one. But Jurassic Park, like I said, is such a classic movie. When you get to see and introduced into this world for the first time and see these dinosaurs. And when you're a kid, it's like, 
it's such an awe moment. It's like you're really getting to see these dinosaurs for the first time in real life, and they're actually alive. Like, that's how it feels. And the way that Sam Neill and the other actors portray it in their faces and their reactions, it does feel unique and very true to the nature of the film. And I do like this film. It has some great action and everything and stuff. And it's just one of those films that it's it's unique in every way, and it's always going to have a great following and people are going to talk about it for years and years to come so that's why Jurassic Park is just such a classic movie probably like to to this day one of the greatest ever dinosaur films of all time so Jurassic Park sitting here at number two but for me there has to be a number one and the number one the top dog is Lost World yes the sequel for me as a kid was definitely more a hard-hitting movie for me and I was a bigger fan of this movie like nine out of ten people are going to tell you Jurassic Park is the best one none of them or there's nothing like it but for me I was that one out of the ten that did like the sequel better and I still do to this day think it's better it's just one that I watched more as a kid and still to this day have rewatched more than all the other ones I like the return of Jeff Goldblum's character I love Julianne Moore in this film Vince Vaughn I do like the villains in this movie better too i find them likable and watchable in this movie even though they're still villains and they're bad guys but i find them more likable and watchable and everything and it's just really cool key moments with the dinosaurs that are so terrifying and so horrific that i just really liked that uh, that one scene is really tense when they're saving the t-rex baby and having to do surgery on his broken leg and then the mama comes to attack him while they're on the bus or the trailer like that's such a good tense scene and julianne moore is on the glass and it's cracking it's like oh uh, like every, every moment in this movie I was hooked, and like I said, as a kid, for me, this was the one that I rewatched the most, and I just have the best time with, so that's why it's sitting here at this number one spot as the top dog. Thanks for hanging out with me, guys. I hope you enjoyed my ranking video of all the Jurassic Park feature films that are currently out. Like I said, share your list in the comment section down below. I would love to hear from all of you, and we could have some healthy cinema debates. Also, consider dropping a like and hitting that subscribe button and notification bell so you can stay up to date on all the content that I put out. Peace out, guys.